Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady and welcome back to another Stitch a Week. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do the basket weave stitch. Come on, grab your yarn, grab your hook and let's get going. Right, so before I start, I'm going to give you the um, the multiples of this stitch. Now, for the stitch a week, I've had to modify them a little bit so that our square will still be the same size as our standard C to C. Okay, so the first set of um, multiples I'm going to give you are for people that are using this stitch to make something else. <laughs> okay, and it's very, very simple for you. The repeats on this one are... 10 plus 8 okay so that's keep chaining in multiples of 10 until you get to the length you want and then chain 8 but now the interesting bit this, so now for the crazies that are following along with a stitch a week your um, count is are going to be just 24 so we are going to now start off by grabbing our yarn grabbing our hook and a popular slip no, on our hook and then chaining up at 24 Or, of course, your 10 plus 8 multiples if you're going bigger. Okay, so now once you have your desired chain length, we're going to start on row number one. Right, so starting row number one, we are going to skip back three chains and then into the fourth chain, you're going to pop a, a double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to pop in another three more double crochets. So in total, we will have four double crochets plus our chain. Okay, so that is our start. There is our chain there and then four double crochets. Now the next section of this is really lovely and easy and it's quite repetitive as well. It is chain one and then working into the next chain and down the bottom here we are just going to add a four double crochets. Now this part will look a bit strange and of course for the majority of us we know if we chain we normally skip a stitch. Not for this setup row, okay? Or any part of this actually. <laughs> so let's keep going. That's four double crochets into the next four chains chain one four double crochets into the next four chains And we keep repeating that pattern all the way along. So that's chain one, followed by a four double crochets into the next four chains. Mm 
Right, so now we are coming up to our last block of four double crochets. And don't freak, you should have one chain left at the end. We are going to chain one and we are going to put one single crochet in to the end here. Now for this um, entire pattern, doesn't matter if you're doing a super long chain or if you're following along with the stitch a week, you will have a, a single crochet in that very last stitch with a chain separating and when we get back here we'll also have the same. Okay, so and now it's time for row two. Now for row two, this is where we are going to be doing a front post and back posts all the way along. So one um, set of four stitches will have a back post in and the next set will have the a front post in. Let me show you what I mean. Right, so we start off by a chaining up three and we are going to turn our work. Now I'm working around this a very first stitch here. Now this is all we're going to be doing now is working around these. Right, so a quick reminder on how to do a front post. If you've been doing the stitch a week, you'll know this already. <laughs> right, we're going to hook over. We are going to put our hook um, on the left or right hand side, depending on if you're left or right handed. We're going to go and behind the stitch and then back up the other side. We are going to hook over, we are going to pull our yarn back and then we are going to complete our double crochet as we normally would. Okay, let me show that to you again. Hook over, go under and up, hook over, pull back, hook over and finish off. Okay, so and there is our first two. We're going to do another two more front post double crochets. Once you get used to where your hook needs to go and the movements, it makes it a heck of a lot easier. Right, so once you have done four front posts, we are going to chain one. And then we are going to do four back posts. So to do that, we hook over, we go through the back of the stitch, over the top of it, and then back out. And then pull our loop through as we have done previously. And finish off that double crochet. So I'll show you again, hook over, from the back, up and over, hook over, pull back. Finish off that stitch. I know these are not the right terminologies, but it's four o'clock in the morning here in the UK. It's the only quiet time in my house and Liam's not here bugging me and the family are not moving about. So my brain is clearly not in gear for the technical terms, it's just the poppy terms today. <laughs> right, once you have completed those four, you're going to again chain one and now we are going to swap back to the front post and we're going to carry on repeating this pattern all the way along the length of your, mater your um, material. So it started with front post and there was four of those and then back post and then we'll do front post again and back post, front post, back post. Okay, for a count of four plus that single ch uh, chain in the middle of them all. Okay, between each set. So let's get to the end of this row with you. to the back post.
and chain one and then on to the last four front post for our stitch a week gang and of course a pause point for everyone else that's using this tutorial to make something a bit longer and a bit wider Okay, so you have completed your last four front posts or back posts for your rows. You're going to chain one and then you are going to be placing a, a double crochet into the top of the third chain here. And that will finish off a row two. So at the moment your work should be looking something like this. Okay, and now it's time for row number three. We are going to chain up three and turn our work. Okay, so now we are going to be working the reverse of the previous row. So wherever we had a front post, we will now be doing a back post. And wherever we had a back post, we will be doing a front post. Okay, so for the Stitch a Week gang, you are starting, actually everybody is starting with four back post double crochets. Now remember, you're not counting that chain at the end. That's for the double crochet on the flip side. Okay, so we have got the chain and then we have our four double crochets and now we are going to chain one and we are going to swap our stitch over to our front double crochets and do four of those. Okay, so your stitch work should look something like this and don't worry, this will even itself out in a few round, uh, rows. Okay, then we follow it of course with a chain one and we repeat this combination all the way down. And of course if you are working along with the stitch a week, you are going to finish with four back post double crochets. And then of course we're all going to do that chain one and pop in a, a double crochet into this very last chain. I will meet you back here in a moment at the end of the row. Okay, so now we are coming up to our last load of stitches. We are going to, of course, skip one of the chains in this turning chain and then into the next one down. We're gonna pop in a double crochet. So that is the end of row number three. Right, so from this point on, it's the repeat of the pattern. We are doing three rows, okay? And, and then we repeat it, but we flip it, okay? So let me show you what I mean. We are going to, of course, chain up three. This stays the same um, for every row. You're going to turn your work. Okay, now, if you look at your work on this side, there were front posts, okay? So we've got our front post double crochets. We're not going to do another row, row starting with front posts. We are going to now start it with um, back posts. Okay. So we're going to do a three back posts. Uh, sorry, four back posts. The chain one. And then we're going to go four front posts. Okay. So all we've done here is we've swapped the uh, starting blocks over and the starting stitches over. And we're going to work the reversed reverse a pattern all the way along. So of course these ones are backs. So we're now going to do a four front post double crochets. Okay, 
and this is what creates the a basket weave style of pattern. So making sure you've picked up those four front posts, we're now going to chain one and then go a four back posts. Four front post. Yep. Oh, I did. Sorry, it's a chain one and then four front post. A chain one and a four back post. chain one and for the end of the row of course we are going to a pop that double crochet into our chain so there we go that is the end of a row number four okay a, a quick little tip here if this stitch is new to you or you know you're going to have to pick it up, put it down, or like me, you have a brain like Dory the Goldfish. Get yourself a stitch marker and a pop that in the end of row number four. Okay, so every time you have to flip the stitches over and to form the next set of blocks, pop in a stitch marker, you can either keep it in there or you can move it up each three rows okay because this pattern is of course a three row repeat you do the same thing for three rows and then you flip it around to create these blocks so let me show you what i mean with a row number five we are going to turn around uh, sorry we are going to chain three then we are going to turn our work and we are going to go a front post at the start of this one for, for a count of four now what I'm going to now do is shorten up the rows and just show you the start block of the next um, set of rows okay till the end of the video because it's very self-explanatory um, and I believe in you, so I know that I'm not going to need to hold your hand through this entire row. If I um, these rows, if I did, this video would end up being about an hour long. Okay, so uh, this way uh, we are going to do it short and sharp. I will tell you uh, what the uh, first block is, whether it is a front or back post, and then I will leave you to alternate between a front post, back post, or running along. And I'll meet you up for the next row. Okay, so uh, this was a uh, row number five. And row number five uh, starts with four front post double crochets. Okay, so the start of row number seven is a chain three. Turn your work. And we are going to be going a back post a double crochet for four. And then the chain one. And then front post double crochet. Right, let me try and whiz through these so I can show you what it's going to look like. Right, 
Okay, so that is how your work will look at the start of row number seven. I'll meet you back here in a few moments. Just a quick one. Don't panic now because this block looks longer than your previous block on the down the corner here. Um, we'll be working into this stitch and it will make, mean that your block will end up being the same size. So don't freak, don't panic, just keep going and trust in the pattern. Okay, now it's time for row number seven. And now this one is the flip row. Okay, so we are going to uh, chain up three as normal. Turn our work. Now, as you're looking at your work, you're thinking, oh, front post. Uh, no. Now we're on to a back post. Um, it starts on this array. So that is, yep, there we go. Um, four back posts. chain one and then we'll do the four front posts i'll work these with you so you can see what they uh, look like that's if my hands will work this morning then we've got our chain and then we go into the four fronts Now, basically, what we're doing is we are alternating this stitch every other row. Um, but then when... Okay, so we keep going all the way along our row. I'll meet you back in a moment for row number eight. This is what the start of row number seven looks like. Now time to start row eight. We're going to chain three, turn our work, and then we are doing a front post, a double crochets times four. chain one and a back post times four and we carry on with that pattern all the way along your row i will meet you back here in a few moments for your next row okay so now for row and number 10 we are going to chain up three again turn our work and looking at your work here, we are going to now undo a, a back post and double crochet. And we're doing that times four. And Jane one and do a four front posts and I carry on the pattern all the way to the end I will meet you I'm back here in a few moments okay so now we are at the end of this row it's time to rewind back the video so we are going to now be doing the repeats again starting at row four and working our way back to this point so the written number is on the screen and the timestamp is in the description box down below okay but before you do that and let me tell you how many repeats you are going to need for the stitch a week square okay we are going to need to do one two three four five lovely and simple so it's only one set of repeats on this one right so i'll meet you back here once you've got your five done okay so uh, welcome back you've completed your sample now for the five rows we are going to now work on popping in our edging stitches to neaten it up and make it look nice <laughs> all right i'm cheating 
I am not making another square. I've got enough doubles, thank you. <laughs> right, so for this one, what we are going to do is place a, a single crochet into each of the edges. Now, for each row, I'm sorry, let's bring this down. Um, sorry, for each block, we will be having a four single crochets. And on the corners, it's nice and simple. It is um, a single crochet, chain one, single crochet into each corner square. So I'm going to quickly show you this one now. So we're going to chain up one. Okay. And then we're going to turn our work and we'll start with our single crochets into the top section here. Okay. So we've got one to go around the chain and then one into each of the tops of the stitches. The top and the bottom on this one are really lovely and easy to do. Three, four, and we just work our way along. Right, so we are now at the end of our fourth stitch here. So we are about to work into the corner. So for this one, that is that chain one spot on the edge. Okay, so we are going to pop our hook in. We're going to do one single crochet, a chain one, turn your work, and then pop another single crochet and back in to the same place. That's given us a nice, neat edge. Okay, so for this block here, we are needing to put in four single crochets into this section here. So it's a case of popping them in nice and evenly spaced. Okay, and then a four into the next. As you can see here, I'm just shoving them in, hoping for the best, trying to keep them nice and equal. Okay, and then a four into the next. And you just keep going all the way until you get to the next corner. Just popping them in nice and evenly. Now you can either work around the chain or work into the chain. The choice is yours. I'm being quite cheeky here because I just want to get it done. <laughs> okay, so we are back to the corner. So that is a, a single crochet. And chain one, turn. And a single crochet and back in to the corner. And then it's a case of uh, popping your single crochet into the top of each of the stitches working along this side and then of course repeating the same thing about evenly spacing four single crochets into each of these sections of blocks like we did, just did here. Right that is it for me for today I hope to see you uh, really really soon and uh, don't forget send me those pictures so I can show off your work on a, a whips bits and chat on a Sunday all right that is it for me for today have a, a lovely day, so if you can, please stay in, but definitely stay safe. To Rafa now, everybody.